In this video, I'd like to give you an overview of bank accounts and how they're used in Dynamics Nav. So if I go to Departments, Cash Management, Bank Accounts, I can see that we have seven different bank accounts that are currently set up in this test environment. And this first one, the Giro Bank, if I click Edit, I can see the details of how the bank is set up. Basically, the account number, the bank uh, number, branch number, um, its location. Under some of these other tabs, I have communication, which can give me email and phone number uh, information about the bank, posting information, the currency code that, that our transactions are done with in this particular bank, um, other types of information about the bank itself. And then at the bottom of this, we have information about uh, how we're going to do wire transfers and ACH payments. So this section is set up to do automated payments from this particular bank. I can take a look at things like ledger entries. So these are the ledger entries that have been posted to this bank already. Uh, these are not check payments. These are just ledger entries that have been made. If I look at the uh, check ledger entries here, the check ledger entries, there really aren't any. So I haven't actually written quote unquote checks out of this out of this bank, but uh, I have done transactions to it. From the bank card, there are several things that I can do that directly relate to the uh, to, to checking activities or bank activities. I can go directly to a cash receipts journal where I could record uh, customer receipts against uh, open accounts receivable. I can look at uh, actions, look at positive pay exports, payment journals. I can do statistics. I can look at uh, uh, ledger entries, both check and general ledger entries. I can do a number of different reports out here. So uh, there's a lot of things that you can do directly from this card. Uh, 